Brewers open up the 2024 season at American Family Field today. Shane Hogan is live at the ballpark this morning with what fans can expect this season. Hey Shane. Hey Chris, good morning. Yeah, it's been a fun morning here at AM Fam Field getting ready for the Brewers home opener. To talk more about the team and what we can expect this year, I want to welcome in Josh Maurer, radio broadcaster with the team. Josh, good morning. Good morning. It's so good to be here. It's good to have you guys here. I mean, it's one of the great days on the calendar year, right? So it's a clean slate for the team. So what can we expect from kind of an upstart, maybe underrated Brewers team this year? It should be a holiday, right? Yeah, <laughs> happening day here in Milwaukee. Right. Well, I can tell you that they played so well in their opening series against the Mets this weekend. The thing about it was there was that youthful energy that was just fun to watch, and it seemed to be infectious, even on the veterans, the way that they played. So 12 of the 26 players, there's 26 guys that are active at any given point on a baseball team. Almost half of them had never played on an opening day before. Unbelievable. So there were a lot of nerves, I imagine, but it didn't show. And the older guys like Christian Yelich came out and played a great, great series. Mm -hmm. New manager Pat Murphy seemed to push all the right buttons. And it was just a perfect way to start before they came home here today. Yeah, so when fans, you know, get in the ballpark today, maybe you're going to see some faces that they aren't familiar with, including the manager, like you said, Craig Council down now with the Cubs. So, you know, Murph is in the big chair now. What, what are fans kind of uh, in store for with him at the helm? You know what's interesting? I think you would have just assumed that had Pat Murphy taken over for Craig Council, which he did, it would have been more of the same sure. because they were so aligned. Mm -hmm. Murph had coached Craig in college. Right. They had been here for eight seasons together. But it does seem like he's going to do things his own way, and he's bringing a little different style of play to the team, a little more rugged perhaps. And I'll tell you what, they're going to be aggressive. People are going to love watching this Brewers team this year. You can't win every game, but I think they'll be in a lot of games, and they're going to play really, really hard in an exciting brand of baseball. Yeah, kind of classic Brewers, right? Maybe not going to blow you away with some of the biggest names in the game, but guys who are here, and they've got some great young talent that I'm sure this team is going to really rally around, too. you, you got to get to know this one name. Yep. Nothing else. <laughs> Tell us about him. You've got to learn Jackson Chorio. Chorio is 20 years old. He just turned 20 years old. And he made his big league debut this weekend. He was all over the bases. He made some great catches out in right field, which is where he's going to be playing, it looks like, for this first season in the big leagues. Mm -hmm. This guy is one of the top young players in the sport. There's a reason for it. I'm telling you, he's worth the price of admission. Yeah. Jackson Chorio, learn the name, learn the name. <laughs> right. You're going to hear it a lot over the next uh, 10, 15 years here. In if all things go right, right? Yeah. All right, Josh, thanks so much. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, happy opening day here for the Brewers. There's a lot of reasons to be excited. You just heard it. A lot of young talent. So it's going to be a fun season for Milwaukee. And uh, we are keeping you excited here with everything you need to know from American Family Field. Chris? All right, Shane. We'll check in with Josh Breider uh, to tell us about some of the new things at the ballpark coming up here in just a little bit.